What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review for Godzilla X Kong A New Empire or Godzilla Kong New Empire or GXK as as the kids are calling it. I, I don't make the rules, you know. I'm 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 down with the hippity hop as the kids say. So, I think I would know their lingo. Okay, in all seriousness, I'm going to be doing a review for the movie in both a non-spoiler and a spoiler part so if you want to check those out i'll leave links in the description below if you want to jump to the spoilers you can do that right away we're going to start with non-spoiler first i'm just going to give my brief thoughts and then we're going to move on to the spoilers so if you enjoy this video and you want to see more please consider leaving a like subscribe turn notifications for more now with that said boys let's jump in so the first thing i'll say without spoilers obviously i think that this movie is definitely a good godzilla movie but if you go into this movie expecting not a Godzilla movie, you're going to be disappointed. Now, the reason I say this is because I've actually saw a couple of reviews already where people were complaining about that the movie has too much monster fights. Duh. I don't know. People, what are you thinking? This is not going to be a masterpiece of a movie. Like, what? You're expecting Jaws, huh? You're expecting Lord of the Rings? You got to get those. No, you go into these movies, you want to have a good time, you want to sit back. And you just want to enjoy. And that's what this movie is. All through and through it is just that. It is a fun... You could say dumb. It's a dumb, fun movie. Now, when I say something is dumb and fun, that doesn't mean that that's necessarily something negative. But it is one of those things where, like I said, it's a fun, dumb kaiju movie. And uh, it, it ticks all the boxes. There's a couple of things that I'll, I'll talk about and more on the spoiler stuff. Because a lot of the stuff I, I, I have some issues with, um, you can't really tackle until you actually watch the movie. Um, what I will say is that this movie does kind of feel like it is two movies put into one. And like I said, I'll go deeper to that in the spoiler section. All in all, if you enjoy Godzilla versus Kong, you're gonna like this one. Like this, it's it's definitely right up the alley there. It's, it's the next step in the storyline. It works great. So um, let's just get into the spoilers a while. Okay, so there are like a good amount of characters in this movie and I think that overall, all the characters do a good job of kind of hitting like different points without going too overboard. Like the previous movies always had like one character that's kind of like a little too much. I do think that sometimes the the comedy in this movie might be a little over the top. He's the funny black guy, you know what I mean? He, he says some funny jokes, he, he says some quips here and there. He's the gay black guy in Eternals, right? And he does great. He does great. Um, but there are some scenes where it's kind of like... All right, we get it. But then there are some scenes with him where it's like, all right, that's actually funny. And um, I guess overall, they, they did a pretty decent job with him, but maybe could have toned it down a little bit. If I was going to complain about any of the characters, I'd really just be him. But even then, like, it's not that bad. Like, the character he's playing and the character they established in the previous film, it's him. You know, the character didn't change. Or, or I wouldn't say it didn't change, but it's not like they completely made him a new character almost. Like, sometimes writers will take a character over to the next movie and it's almost as if they're written by a different person this definitely feels exactly like the last guy which it was written by the same person so that would make sense uh the new guy trapper i think he's pretty cool he's a good substitute for like the new male lead this series kind of just needs like a nice solid male lead who can kind of contribute more to the story um it's always had male leads here and there but ultimately i do feel like there needs to be like that one guy who has kind of like a um hey i'm here for the party baby he's not so serious i think he this this character trapper he hits the marks good and he kind of makes a lot more sense to be part of the adventure because he has a connection to the kaiju and he, he has a a deeper understanding about them so i like his character i'm excited to see what happens with him in the future and um i, I hope they don't just make him like a one-off character where we don't see him again i think he could definitely add to the future and like i said maybe one day you know he built kong the glove maybe one day He'll make Kong the whole body suit or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's next. We'll, we'll get an Iron Man Kong. An Iron Kong. Who knows? Could work. Gia and her mom. I like those two. I, I like them in the last one. I think that they were actually probably the best characters in the previous film. So bringing them over works great. Gia, she's a, she is a deaf actress. She's got the heart. She's got the soul behind the character. And you really feel like you can actually feel that bond between her and Kong. I will say that maybe the, the previous movie did a better job with that connection. You definitely felt the bond in the last one. This one feels more like 
you're watching this movie after watching Godzilla vs. Kong, so you still have that connection. But I feel like if I didn't see the previous movie, this one, you'd be kind of like lost a little bit. But then again, I don't know if that's a really good argument to make though, because if you're going to watch this movie, you should see the previous one to get the full... I don't know. It's up to you. Some people might think that's a big deal. Some people, you know, probably won't care. But that is something to take into consideration while watching the film. Okay, that's pretty much all the human characters. I think this is the first monsterverse movie that didn't have an like an, an enemy human antagonist there was one guy in the beginning who was kind of like a jerk but you know he gets killed right away so it's not that big of a deal and like by that tree monster what was the tree monster all about what what, what happened there why did that tree monster do that and then just we just never saw another tree monster why did the tree monster not go after the other ones that was kind of a weird way to write him out of that story i didn't think about that but yeah that was odd like they killed him off with the tree monster to be like hey anything can happen and then like nothing else happens so it's like why did why did you do that okay with the humans out of the way let's get to the kaiju the main kaiju in this movie is kong and earlier in the video i mentioned about how it feels like this is two movies put into one now um early scripts for this movie this movie was supposed to be kong 2 you could say king of the monsters was godzilla 2 well this was supposed to be kong 2 initially and Godzilla was supposed to get his Godzilla 3, which was going to be like him going around, um, beating up other titans, absorbing the radiation, getting to level up to fight another kaiju some other place. I don't know. We don't know the exact details of that story, but that was kind of the breakdown of these two movies. So I guess what they decided to do, or at least this is what it seems like to me, they saved that villain for that Godzilla movie, which I think was supposed to be like Space Godzilla. He'll come back in the next one. They're definitely gearing up for like an Avengers moment for sure. Uh, we'll get deeper to that as the spoiler uh, review continues. But it seemed like they took Godzilla's plot of his movie, that movie they had planned, and they just kind of took sections of that and they placed that into Kong's movie. It's fast. It's a fast paced movie. You get thrown right into the action right away. You don't really have time to breathe through it. I do think that maybe that might be a little bit of an insult. But then again, it's a MonsterVerse movie, so I do like that. There's a lot of conflicting ideas going around. Like, I just got out of the theater like 30 minutes ago. So, you know, it's all fresh in my brain. But it's also still like, I need some time to think about it. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up review in like two or three weeks just to kind of like let it sit. I do plan on doing a, a tier list tomorrow or the next day or soon. As soon as I can make it. And um, we'll have that out then. But... I don't know it's so weird to kind of explain but I, I definitely feel like this feels like two movies that they place together this felt like kong 2 and godzilla 3 put into one and i guess like you can feel it once you start to get a little more critical about it and you break it down like i was talking to my buddy he went with me to the, to the movie and he didn't notice that until i mentioned something and then he's like oh, you know what that's right and the movie does keep on going like like there's event 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 like I said, there isn't much breathing room. It really just keeps on going. It feels like there's two movies here, like I said. And Kong's movie was initially two hours. And Godzilla's movie was only an hour. So what they had to do was cut out some of Kong's extra story bits. And just chop out a couple pieces of Godzilla's story to make it under two hours. I know people like their movies faster nowadays. But this movie could have used another 20 minutes. I, I might be wrong. That might just be my opinion. But... I, there's 20 minutes here that's missing. And I think a big part of that is actually the ending fight scene. I think there's a lot more that they could have did with the fight scene. I think that's probably my biggest con. I think Scar King is cool. I think Shimo is cool. I like the fact that Shimo survived. I was surprised. That was like the biggest surprise to me. I knew Shimo was going to be in the movie. Surprised that it was just like one of those things where he was just mind controlled and then he teamed up with them or she teamed up with them. That was really cool. I really, I really dug that. Yeah. And then Godzilla is awesome. Maybe a little too weak. Um, when, when Godzilla first showed up, Kong did a pretty good job holding his own. And I get he had the power glove, so that really helped him. It was able to, um, like, concuss Godzilla in their fight, knock them out. That's that's cool. But I do think maybe Godzilla's power-up should have been more of a, a power-up. We should have experienced more of it. Um, still cool looking. This would have been cool to see it kind of more in action. Overall, though, my biggest issue is that final fight. I think that it's fun. It's just too short. That final fight probably could have used another like three minutes. Little extra extra elements here and there. You know, a little more Shimo and and Godzilla going at it, maybe. I think that's what I'm missing. We got a lot of good Kong. Um I like Zuko. He's a cute little 
little monkey. Could it, hope to see him in the future. See him grow and become more of like, I guess he will become son of Kong once uh, Kong potentially passed away. We don't know what's going to happen to him. I do assume that that's probably going to be the next big step would be Kong sacrificing himself to take out the next big threat or something along those lines. But overall, there's not much I can say to complain. I mean, like I said in the very beginning, it is a MonsterVerse movie and um, it delivers. Like if, if you liked Godzilla vs. Kong, you liked um, King of the Monsters, this is right up your alley. You're going to love this movie. Okay, so with spoilers out of the way, and I kind of gave my whole review here and there. If you guys have any questions, you want to hear more of my thoughts into deeper elements into this movie, let me know in the comments below. I think I cover most of the things I was thinking about talking on this video. But yeah, if you want to pick my brain a little bit, let me know in the comments and then I'll just respond down there. Or maybe I'll do a follow-up video. Use your comments in that video. So yeah. Okay, so with the spoilers out of the way, let's do some speculation. There was the theory that this was going to be the last movie in the MonsterVerse. I'm 100% sure that's definitely not true. We can rule that out. There's definitely going to be more movies in this MonsterVerse. Now the question is, what's the next one? And I think the most logical point to go to, especially with Shimu surviving, I didn't think they were going to do that. Now that Shimu is alive, Kong is kind of like her master, but not really her master, more of like his horse, like or maybe like guard dog. I don't really know how to explain that. Um, we'll get a little more detail in Shimu eventually. Obviously, Godzilla is not like afraid of Shimu which is really interesting. Um, previous films have kind of shown that Godzilla does not like Sharon with anybody, but maybe it's because Shimo was, went back down, you know, like, like, like Kong brought Shimo back with him. And I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a novelization of this book and, and people are going to pick this apart on the internet and, and explain everything. But yeah, the next villain I'm going to suspect, we're not getting our Thanos yet. The Thanos of the MonsterVerse is going to be Destroya. We all know that. We all know Destroyer is going to be the, the Thanos, right? He's going to be the one that brings them all together to, to take him down. The next big villain is probably going to be like Space Godzilla. I think he's next. So Space Godzilla would be like an ancient Kaiju or an ancient uh, Gojira, which would make sense why he's, you know, he looks a little similar to Godzilla, who manipulated the ancient crystals of the Hollow Earth, right? And uh, maybe him and Shimu had a fight and he Shimu managed to throw... Um, him into space or something like that. And so now he's coming back. He's coming back. And that's why Ghidorah showed up in the first place. Ghidorah showed up in the first place because he got scared off. You know, it's going to show just how big of a threat that space Godzilla would be. And then you could also do like a thing that's like, oh, once Shimo came to the surface, that's when space Godzilla detected him. And he's coming for him. You know, you could do something along those lines. And then you could have like the whole Avengers lineup. You know, you got Mothra, you got Shimo, you got Kong. You got um, Godzilla, obviously. And then you could bring in like Anguirus. Maybe he's in the movie. He, he joins up with them. Um, there's the robot guy, Jet Jetster. Him. I think his name's Jet Jetster. I could be wrong, but that guy. And then, heck, just for the fun of it, let's do multiverse. Let's, let's bring in Zilla. Let's bring in Zilla. And then we can have him jump onto MonsterVerse's Godzilla's back, right? And ride him into battle. And then at some point, Godzilla can be like, hey, look. You're a god. You're not just a Zilla. You're a god. We could do something along those lines. Um, we'll call that one Godzilla No Way Home. But, uh, okay. So I'm starting to get really tired, as you guys can tell. It's pretty late here. Um, I'm going to try to get this video up as soon as possible. But, yeah. Overall, very fun movie. I don't know how I'd rank the MonsterVerse yet. I'm going to let it simmer for for the night. I'll wake up tomorrow, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank out a tier list for you guys. And we're going to find out what is the best. I will definitely say that this is probably in the top three. There's only five though, so I mean that's that's still pretty good. But I'll let it marinate in my brain and uh, I'll let you guys know. But how did you feel about Godzilla X Kong? Was it good? Was it bad? Do you think that some things would be better? Do you think it was perfect? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, notification for more. But that's it for now, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.